question 11. Two similar solids are shown below. And um, you can see the word similar is in bold. Okay, so they're telling you this is an important word. And if you can see, there are two shapes there. So it got to do with the topic similar shapes, okay? And the quiz grade, it worked from C to A, depending what they're asking you in the question. Um, so let's say you had a height of five centimeters and B has a height of seven centimeters. And um, you can see B is bigger than A. Mary claims that the surface area, surface area of solid B is more than double the surface area of solid A if she's correct, and you must justify your answer, okay? And whenever we talk about similar shapes, you've got to think about what we call a scale factor. But there are two different types of scale factor. You've got a length scale factor, okay? And you've got an area scale factor, and you've got a volume scale factor, and they all link together. Now, um, this is to do with surface area, so you know, it's nothing to do with volume scale factor. And in fact, if you be able to work out the area scale factor, you'd be able to see if it's more than double. So if that is more than two or less than two, then you know she's correct or not correct, okay? Now, so you know to be able to work out area scale factor, you've got to square the length scale factor. Okay, it's a length scale factor squared, then that gives you the area scale factor. And length scale factor is nice and easy. In a single dimension, you're looking at how bigger the height of B compared to the height of A. So all you've got to do is seven divided by five. And, and there won't be any units because it's a scale factor and that should give you 1.4. Okay, um, length scale factor will be that square, which is 1.4 times 1.4. And remember to do it on the side here. Uh, it's a non-calculator paper and you should get 1.96. Okay, now um, it's nice and easy now. It's two mark one and two. Um, but you've got to justify your answer. And even if it's two marks there, you should be able to just write a answer. So no, she is not correct because the area of solid B is less than double, less than two, the surface area of solid A, okay? When they're asking you if she's correct or not, the final answer should always give you, uh, no, she's not correct, yeah? Even there are two marks there and you won't get marked for that explanation in the last bit, but always um, complete the question in as nice and um, explain everything you've done, okay?